Hello YouTube. Got here a 2002 Cavaliers Z24. Uh, I'm going to show you guys how to do a wet dry compression test. Um, I haven't ran it yet. Got my compression tester on cylinder number one. And so let's do a dry test first and see what it does. You're supposed to turn it over about five revolutions. Or if someone's watching, just uh, by four or five revolutions, it shouldn't gain any more. So uh, we'll do four or five revolutions, and we'll see what it reads. And then uh, if it's low, we'll put a little bit of oil down the spark plug hole and uh, see if it comes right up. And if it does, we know it's a uh, piston rings or bottom end issue. And if it doesn't change much, then it's a uh, top end issue. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six for good measure. And we've got just under 30. Just under 30 pounds. Should be at least 120. So we've got a definite problem here. So pull that out, get some oil here, give me a sec, I'm just going to pour a little bit in the cap, got two gas cans, no fucking pump. <laughs> uh. I got maybe 15 mils in there. Actually, you know, I'm going to use a little bit more. Ah, too much. Okay, now I'm going to pour. Pour it down the spark plug hole there. Okay. Now, put this. Okay, one sec, I gotta screw oh, probably do it here. Let's see. Hang on. Okay. Got it back in. Now this will tell us if it comes right up to where it should be, they'll know it's a bottom end issue. Now if it doesn't change much, it's the top end. And we still have uh, 30 pounds. So we know we've got a burnt out valve or something of that kind of matter. And that is how you do a wet dry compression test. So check out my channel, subscribe. If you enjoyed the video, comment if it helped you out. Um, all you got to do is make sure that you disconnect the spark or whatever. It's the same on any vehicle. Disconnect the spark, which in this vehicle is this plug right here that uh, plugged into the, the coil packs on this here cover. On this, on this vehicle, it, uh, that's for each of the spark plugs. So it's pretty simple on this vehicle. On other vehicles, you got to know what wire to unplug, etc. So it looks like we have a burnt out valve um, so thanks for watching and uh, subscribe comment like and have a good day